Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips, and in this tutorial, we'll be looking at producing a rectangular prism using Inkscape to look like uh, this finished product here. But first of all, we'll swap to a blank canvas and start from there. First thing is to select the squares and rectangle tool and drag out the front face of our prism. I'm going to click on the red cross in the white square to remove the fill and I'm going to hold down shift and click on the black to produce a black border click on the select tool and click away, yes that's a dotted border which I don't want for the front face so I'll select that and under the fill and stroke menu I'll choose stroke style the dashes and go up to a solid line I'll ensure that's about 0.6 of a millimetre, you can change that if you need to in this box here OK, next thing is to click on that and Ctrl D to duplicate, then drag it up into a position to represent the back face of the prism. Then click away. Now we need to join up the corners. I'm going to use the Bezier Pen tool over here and simply click. Notice it's locking onto the cusp node or a sharp corner, which is this icon up here. It's controlled by this snapping icon that controls the set of them. Once that's on, you can then ensure snap to cusp nodes is, is um, on. Click on the corner, double click, click on the corner, double click, ensuring that we've snapped onto the corners in each case. Click, double click, click, double click. Select tool. Now that particular line should be dashed because it's uh, behind the front face. So I'm going to click on the stroke style and select, let's see, something like, yeah, that one there. And this one's solid, so that's okay. Like it doesn't look uh, the right thickness. Yeah, 0.26. It should be 0.6, I think we had. So I'll change that. In fact, I'll change that dotted one to 0 0.6 as well. Okay, this line here should be, well, the bottom line should be dotted, but you can see it's part of a rectangle. I need to convert that to a path before I can break it at nodes. So I'll go up to Path, Object to Path, then click on the Nodes tool. And this top edge and this side need to be one part that's solid, and this other section, bottom and side, should be dotted, so I'll break the path here and shift click to select this node and select a break path at selected nodes there. Click the select tool and to finish off that breaking because the, even though they're two broken parts they're grouped together so to ungroup them or to actually break the path apart properly we'll go to path and break apart. OK, now if we click on that one, you can see it's quite separate. Control Z to bring it back into position, I'll leave that as solid. But this one here, I could change the dashes, if I can remember which ones they were. I think it was something like, uh, perhaps those ones there. Yep, so now I've got my dashes. Again, I've left a few thin sides here, shift click to select several at once and change the stroke so, uh, width to 0.6 and there we have our prism. Now sometimes you might want to fill in you know, maybe just the base, you don't want to go crazy with colours, it can get confusing, but if I want to fill in this base you see it's uh, not really a shape of its own, it's made up of sides and parts of other shapes so what I can do is I can click on the Bezier pen tool again and just lock on and work my way around the corners and back to the start, just clicking as I go. And you'll notice down here the fill is saying none, the stroke is black. Well, we don't want a stroke, so I'll go. In fact, no one wants a stroke, but a stroke on the shape. Shift and the red cross removes the stroke, so now we've got no fill and no stroke. If I click, say, the yellow for fill, it might be a bit heavy looking, so I'm going to go to uh, fill down here in the fill and stroke menu and change the alpha channel or the opacity down a bit 
tap something like that, click the select tool, and so forth, and that highlights the base. A typical maths problem might uh, be to find the length of the longest diagonal in a rectangular prism. You can draw that using the Bezier tool as well. Click in that corner, up to the top corner, back down, and back to the start. And you can fill that with red, perhaps again drop the opacity down a bit. And you know, that illustrates quite nicely the triangle that we can use. That completes this tutorial. I'm hoping you uh, join us for the next one that I create. Until then, thanks for watching.